Hello, my beautiful nail divas. It's me, Princess D, and I had to cut my nails down, unfortunately. I also, I'll throw a picture up of what they looked like and how beautiful they were when she first did them, but I'm, I cut them down already and I'm going to reshape them. I'm so proud of myself because I learned through my friend, April, who did my nails, to just go for it and try to use the e-file to reshape them. So I'm going to try on myself, which I already did because I did this one and this one. Um, and I'm pretty proud of myself because that looks pretty good for my very first time, um, using an e-file to shape my nails. I think that's pretty good, right? Like side view. That's not bad, right? It was the square like these ones. So we're going to reshape them and then have to redesign them, unfortunately. But here we go. I'll speed it up and let you listen to one of my son's beats or something. I usually do this at um, 30 RPMs to take away bulk and stuff, but I think I did this at 25 RPMs because I was a little nervous, <laughs> but I don't think I did too bad. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. My bit, I, my husband dropped my e-file. I had a heart attack. <laughs> And this is why all nail techs should have a spare at least, but unfortunately all my spare e-files brand new were thrown away or sold or whatever they were, but they're not mine, so I don't have a spare right now. But thank God it didn't break the e-file, and but it, it did break my bit, the tip of it, it just broke it off. So... I don't have another bit like that and that's my remover bit which I need to order more um, so I can't pull the bit out any further if I had a regular bit I would have pulled it out so that I can go along the side of the nail right there a lot easier but I still didn't do too bad what do you guys think let me know down below also real quick I want to let you know this little dark spot on the top left of the screen and the bot along the bottom here is my are two of my lamps and I was trying to get good lighting for you guys and, and it's just a mess my setup is a mess right now but bear with me guys I'm gonna try to get better for shaping and stuff but i have to say i am so old school when it comes to using that hand file y'all i can feel if the nail is lifted when i'm using the e-file as opposed or i mean the hand file as opposed to the e-file there's a sound that i can hear and you almost can feel the hollow when you take your file over a solid piece of acrylic as opposed to a hollow piece of acrylic that's lifted or whatnot if you feel the same way, please comment below because I'm kind of feeling stupid <laughs> by explaining it to you. So if I'm not making sense, I apologize. If I am, please comment below and let me know that you are the same way. I've got to get my phone and my tablet screen mirrored so that I can see what you guys see because this in and out of frame is awful and I apologize for it so badly but I'm doing the best I can what do you guys think um I think I did pretty good but I definitely got to go over it with a hand file because <laughs> I got to perfect it before I move on right right
now I want y'all to comment below on which finger is when you're doing your own nails which finger aggravates you and just frustrates you more than anything in your soul it's the pinky for me y'all I hate that little son bitch <laughs>
Okay, so one thing that I forgot to mention is when you're going to put a bead down, and if it's a wet bead that's too wet for you to work with, you want to go ahead and, as you can see, what I did is pointed my finger downward and let the bead work itself down. And then once it slows down, because it's going to start setting up as it goes, once it slows down and while it's doing that, you want to clean your brush off and then go back, pat and slide, pat and slide.
Okay, so for me, when I'm all done with my fouling, buffing, and shaping, I go in with my e-foul, and I usually use a skinny, tiny bit like this one, and I put it on about 7 to 10 um, on the speed, and then I go up underneath that now, get any acrylic that might be on those edges, or anything underneath. I want to foul out my natural now if it's up underneath there. Um... And I'm just going to show you a little bit of that, and then we will move on to the art. got this from my good friend Patricia oh wow that is thick oh my goodness that is thick Thank you. 